Right now, tonight at 5.30, looking at the environment right at Louisville's doorstep. Dozens of volunteers spending the day on the Ohio River, not just for fun, but this is for science. Their goal was to catch fish that will be tested for a dangerous chemical known as PFAs and other pollutants in the water. The tests help measure harmful substances in fish tissue and understand ecological impacts. Gabriel Gonzalez spent the day with the organizers and the volunteers right on the banks of the Ohio. The Ohio River behind me is filled with fish and pollution. That's why volunteers spent the day catching fish, not to see if those fish are contaminated, but to see how much contamination is in those fish. <gasps> Woo! What a rush. There was no way that the individuals and the communities along the Ohio could thrive if not for the, the abundance and the relative safety and cleanliness of the waters of the Ohio River. Michael Washburn with the Kentucky Waterway Alliance says keeping an eye on pollution levels in the Ohio River is critical. The river gives water to every tap in Louisville. One way to monitor pollution levels is with a pole and some bait. Testing the fish tissue for toxins, we're getting a good proxy of what water quality is like in the river. Washburn says these fish are contaminated with harmful pollutants like pure fluorinated compounds, also known as PFAS, and a variety of metals like mercury, but figuring out how much contamination helps aquatic ecosystems and overall river health. What we test for, we will find. So it's not a matter of, well, is, are we going to find a PFAS-free fish? It's more like, what are the concentrations of PFAS we will find in the fish? Volunteers aim to catch three samples from different fish, like catfish, drum, and buffalo. It's a rush! I that came it. pretty easy to Priya Alexander, who caught a catfish. Although she usually canoes on the river, she's happy to do what she can to help keep the river clean. And that really helps us to figure out like the toxicity of the rivers, probably some advocacy around how to improve the, the water cleanliness. At any time that we can get people acquainted with the river that is the lifeblood of our entire region, I think it does good for that effort and does good for the communities. In Clarksville, Gabriel Gonzalez, WHS 11, on your side. Washburn says the fish will now go to UofL, where they're going to be frozen and then shipped off to a lab for testing. The final results will be available in about a month or two.